Hey guys, today I'm going to be inking uh, one of the award cards for the person that won the art giveaway. And I he wanted a dragon, so that is what I am drawing. I've already done the pencil lines, as you can see. He's just pretty simple. Um, I haven't drawn a dragon in years. I think it's been years since I've drawn a dragon. So yeah, hopefully he likes this. We will find out. But yeah, enjoy the wind chime noises because that's what I have going right now. Although they're kind of stagnant, which is kind of funny. So I'm using one of the manga trading card bases for this piece. Since I don't have any playing card stock right now. But it's also kind of convenient because then I don't have to make my own, you know? Boop. Keep it or to get rid of it? That's the question. I think we should keep it. Make it a little smaller though. Dragon eyes are so cool. They got like this little slit that looks like a goat. <laughs> goat eyes. There, the inking is done. Welcome to part two, which I think I'm just gonna combine into the whole video. And we're gonna erase the lines on the dragon here. And then we're gonna get to coloring. And anybody that's wondering, I literally just use one of those little dollar store erasers that have the different markings on it. Alright, I have decided that we're going to use purple on the eye and green for the rest of him. This color is going to be the inside of the wing here. this color for the main body. I have no idea how much video my camera can do right now, so hopefully it doesn't die on me halfway through like it did on one of the other videos I did. If it does die on me, I'm just going to finish coloring and then I will edit the video and put the finished piece at the end. Just in case anyone's wondering if that happens, what I usually do for that and that's what I usually do. I'm liking this green color. I don't usually use this color because it's so woodsy and grassy. I usually only use it for plants. <laughs> But I'm kind of digging it for this dragon. So how is everybody else's day? Hopefully it's going well. If you follow my daily comic, you know how my weekend has been. Not that wonderful with a death in the family and my grandparents moving away, but you know, life happens. 
But, uh, and my friend called me today too and told me that her brother's in the hospital. But, uh, he'll be okay, you think. Uh, pretty sure. Um, he has a few health issues, but, uh, he should be alright. But enough of the sad stuff. Let's talk about happy stuff. Who saw that new uh, card video that Zava TV did? That was pretty cool with the card tricks. That was neat. That new unboxing. But yeah. Oh, and for those of you that don't know, I do have a daily comic that I do called Basically My Day, which I thought was kind of a neat name, um, for a autobiographical webcomic that I do. Um, I use my mascot, Ika, for it. Um, because one, I find her more interesting to draw than people, like actual like people. So that's what I do. Choose a background color. I think I'm gonna use blue. We'll use the broad chisel side. Should be interesting so I don't get it on the carpet. <laughs> I really need to find some kind of a stand so I can just put my art on a stand on my art desk instead of having to draw on the floor for you guys. <laughs> Oh well. This marker always has so much ink in it. It's wonderful. I love it. Boop, boop, boop. It works really nice for flat color backgrounds. And then I go back over and smooth it out too. It looks like this video might actually last through the whole thing. That'd be pretty great. But backgrounds take me a while, so you know, maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. I know as much as you guys know, which is not a lot <laughs> about this video anyways. I'm not, you know, you know what I mean, right? What kind of webcomics have you guys been reading lately? I am just like obsessed with autobiography right now, but uh, you should tell me in the down bar below what you guys have been reading. I love to find some new webcomics. I've been trying to re-catch up with my life with Fel. I used to read that a lot a few years ago, but I am way out of date with it, so I'm rereading it. The thing I love about this blue marker too is how nicely it covers up the light blue card information, so it just looks like regular card stock. <laughs> I am loving this card. It is so neat looking. Especially once all this blue gets fully on there. Hopefully, Negi will enjoy this too, the winner of the contest.
my uh, family from Montana is going to be coming up here to uh, Wisconsin in a couple weeks too, so I'm pretty excited to see them. I haven't seen them. I think it's been, I remember it's been a year or two years now. I think it might have been two years that I haven't seen them. Oh, would you look at that? Ta-da! Look at that. That's so neat. Let's zoom out a little. Get this in frame. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna upload this and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.